another day, another dollar. In this beautiful world we call truck driving. Now I know it's tough out there, drivers. I know you're ready to give it up. I know you've been watching YouTube, but there's damn near no motivation. You would think everybody's running for free and not to feed. But don't give up, there's hope. There are drivers out here that's still making money. <laughs> Do y'all still get these papers right here? This is called the truck paper magazine. They be free. I don't know if I like Pallet, Loves, you know, truck stops. Free, y'all should grab one. Grab one. I just, this, this one right here is thick because it's a lot of stuff for sale. I mean, look how thick that is right there, boy. That's a lot of pages up in that book, boy. Look at that right there. Damn. Oh, it's a lot of pages. A lot of stuff for sale. Fun or low. Oh, it's a lot of stuff for sale. I grabbed me one. I had to look through here twice. I just opened it up for the first time because Justin Lewis claims that he's got a secret weapon. Hiding down in Texas, is that right? Secret weapon down in Texas. The truck that he's driving right now is giving him some issues, so he's going to uh, take it back to the house and uh, he's gonna go grab this secret weapon, or so he claims, whatever that could be. We don't know what that means. You guys have to wait to find out. We don't know exactly what that means. Meanwhile, I done found me some new food to eat. Y'all know I like salmon. And uh, Justin Lewis introduced me now. Now, wait a minute. I know I'm black. I'm from the hood. I never had it growing up. He introduced me into these uh, sardine packs. See that right there, sardine? Like I said, I never had it before. Real good to me, though. Real good to me, so. Shoot, how many calories? One server and 200 calories, so about the same as uh, me cooking some four ounce salmon. That's about 160 calories. I'm gonna go and get about 100 and then I'm keep them on the truck right there. Them and a bunch of other flavors. Never even seen them in the store. Damn my life. Oh, it's hot out here. Oh, don't you worry, it's hot out here. But Justin Lewis claims there's some type of secret weapon out there in Texas. He's going to go and go get it because he's having issues keeping up with the Freightliner Classic. It's hell! He don't know what to do. He's having a lot of issues keeping up. He's got every excuse in the book on why he just cannot keep up with this Classic. And it's a 1997. Now I know they are a lot of y'all drivers see me going down the interstate. I hear you on the CB, you be blowing the horn. Y'all see all that black smoke, y'all can't really see where you're going. I understand, drivers. It's tough driving behind seat to the end. Okay, baby. We be doing a lot of roll core going down the road. A lot of rolling in that core, baby. A lot of roll core going down that road. I understand, drivers. It's tough. It's tough, boy. A lot of drivers think I only get two miles to the gallon, boy. I hear you, drivers. <laughs> drivers, if I only got two miles to the gallon, then that means my pockets would be so deep at the damn fuel hour. You know how much money I would be spending on fuel? You know how deep my pockets would be if I was just getting two miles to the gallon? Ooh, eight, ten thousand dollars a week at the diesel pump? Now, Justin Lewis claims he's got a secret weapon that blows more coal than mine. So we'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see what Justin Lewis don't understand is that I too have a secret weapon. It's just off in the grass somewhere. Collecting spider webs and darts and stuff like that. But it's on standby. Would I buy another trailer or would I go ahead and give me a W900? I, I, thought, I thought about it. I did. I did. I said, man, every time I get one of these little pneumatic accounts, boy, I started to, I started to go 
looking for shit that I ain't, I ain't supposed to have. No business looking for shit. Now I'm picking up truck paper. I'm on everybody website. I'm on Facebook Marketplace. I'm looking at the Archer. Not this, not this phase of life again. Damn. I always wanted one of them 18 speed W900s. Long nose. Sit to Z cat. With the couch in the back. You can only get two miles to the gallon. Well, even a 379 Peterbilt. 389, 386. I like the 386 too. I, like, I, I do drivers. I do. I like the 386. Every time I might get in this phase of my life, I don't understand, man. Just... Then again, I know I need to go out and cash out on somebody's house. Go to Archie and go do that. That's what I need to do. Then I could go and get my commercial pilot license. We could go pay that cash. We could go do that. But then I could do some more training for insurance adjusting. Y'all want to know, Andrew, why you didn't go to Florida? Because, baby, I got to keep these silos filled, baby. What's wrong with you? We can't just be leaving the money and go collect some more money. Unless it was more than one of me, but right now, it's just me. It's just me. Now, the customer thinks that they may just keep us on this for the rest of the year. But they aren't quite sure yet. They're just going to run it week by week just to see, you know, performance. Can these guys really keep up once the money hit their bank account and they start to slow down because, you know, they kind of feel like they're retired. You know, can, are they really going to keep the silo field? <laughs> I don't know. Just have to wait to find out. You keep that money rolling. We're gonna keep the silo few. I'm right in front of the silo. Justin Lewis blowing off right now until the silo on the mix. Not that he blow off, he heading back to Texas. Like I said, his truck giving him issues, so he claims he got some type of secret weapon back in Texas. We don't know what that is, so I guess we got to wait the next week to find out what that is. Or he may just take that to the shop. Get it worked on. I think it's fuel field that's probably clogged. He been uh told y'all he had broke down at the red light where his truck keep cutting off every time he comes to a stop and he got to uh pop the hood and prime the uh prime the engine. So I think it's fuel related. But uh it's too embarrassing. You know, every red light we come to, you gotta put the truck in park and pop the hood and Yep. Yeah. I say yeah man, uh I don't want you to end up with no tow bill. Just go on and uh, go on, go on, you know, let's get, let's get it to the shop. Let's, just, let's get it to the shop. He said, no, nah, we, we, I ain't going to take it to the shop. I got the secret weapon at the house. I'm going to just go switch to the secret weapon. Like, what the hell is that? I'm talking in code. One of these sardine pads, boy. Y'all can hear one of these right here? Because Andrew really wanted a W900. I'm just saying. I really wanted a W900. Oh, but then again, I just said a freight line of class is going to fade up. I've seen it on Craigslist. I've seen it on Craigslist. I've seen a freight line of class is going to fade No, it wasn't even no classic. I've seen an FLD 112. Yeah, 112 on Craigslist. Yeah, the cat mode here, man. Same year. It was old school. Old school classic. Old school classic. They got it listed for under 20. They got it listed for under 20. Of course, it probably need a rebuilding and all this stuff. Got about a million something miles on the on the cat motor, it do what it do. Uh, you know, could we'll go get the you know twin to this truck. You know, this truck got a 12 7, that one got a cat. Could we'll go, could we'll go call him up right now. And say, What's up? That's trucking treating you. Oh, it's down bad. 
You say no one's making money in trucking? I, I know that's right. Yeah, I, I ain't making no money either, man. So since you ain't making money and I ain't making money, hey, look, man, I, I got 5000 I ain't, I ain't making money. You ain't making money. Nobody in trucking making money. There ain't no money in trucking whatsoever. Everybody's hauling for free and not to feed. There ain't no money in it whatsoever. So what I'm saying is I got some money for you. You know, some savings. Now, I've been saving this money for damn near 30 years straight. Okay? You can take it right now. It's $5,000. That's, that's all I got. I can't get no more of this. Like, what? Because I'm a CDL driver. There ain't no money in trucking. So it ain't like I can go out there and get some more money. No, you going to take this $5,000. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? That's what it look like. Y'all probably like, oh, god damn, and this building shit. <laughs> uh, everybody that seems to come over the C to the A to the J. I don't know, there's something about this company the way every time they come over, they get on one of these pneumatic accounts some kind of way. Some kind of way after a week or two, they always end up. With secret weapons. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not, not too sure how this keeps happening. I don't know what's going on. Every year, ever since we've been in business, C to the A to the J, they come over. Always, they just, they just, they, then they barely work too. They don't even be around that long. They don't even be around that long. I mean, just, just think about last year. The little, the little, the little green truck. Remember, remember the little green truck with the Mercedes? That thing had popped up and disappeared. It was on here a short while, and here we are. Oh, and then that other truck that we ain't gonna speak. Yeah, that other truck. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that one right there. It, it came and then it disappeared just as fast as it came. And then he talking about here. We, now we didn't roll the whole another year around. Then he talking about some type of secret weapon. I don't know what that is. We got the. The next week, it could like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about that C to the A to the J. You know, man. Talk to Khaled. Khaled said, uh, yeah, he couldn't take it no more over there. JB Drizzle. JB Drizzle. He couldn't take it no more. I said, damn, Khaled, what you mean you couldn't take it over to JB Drizzle? He said, yeah, I mean, they hit him in the headlock and the ankle lock at the same time. I said, damn, man, uh, Man, if you were listening to me, you'd never be over there wasting time. A lot of truck drivers love to waste their time, boy. Y'all just wasting life away, boy. Wasting life away, boy. I didn't start just charging for my conversations, baby, because my conversations could put a lot of drivers in a totally different situation. I'm talking about just basic conversations. Hey, man, how you doing, man? Hey, man, I'm up here in Chicago. Okay, well, look, man, pay me $400, and I'm going to tell you what to do. Yeah, when you send the $400, I'm going to tell you to get the fuck away from Chicago. 